You know what they say. Sprinkles are for winners, bitch. What? Oh, we're live? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is Burrs. I'm here to talk to you about Light Fighter Innovations again. And what am I here to talk to you about? Sprinkles. Because sprinkles are for winners, bitch. As you saw in a previous video with my one other Glock 19, you saw Light Fighter Innovations take this Glock and completely and utterly take it from the garbage dumpster in which stipple job I did and turn it into a miraculous miracle of a stipple job. Still amazed by the way this thing looks compared to the way it used to look. So they took this gun, they uh, did the undercuts, the, uh, you know, all the crap I did to it, buzzed it off or melted it down, or I don't even know what they did. They sprinkled, you know, unicorn dust on it and made it work. But uh, they did an amazing job on this one. So when I reached out to them about doing this RMR Glock, they asked me if I was a winner. I told them I'm a winner and they gave me sprinkles. So what are sprinkles? Well, you can see this pattern right here. You can see it looks like little sprinkles all around with the work here. It's a new pattern that they're doing over there at Light Fighter Innovations in the past. And a lot of places you'll see just the basic kind of like um, dot uh, stipple. And there's nothing wrong with it. Lots of grip going on. But this sprinkle job is probably what he calls it a medium um, compared to just a regular uh, dot stipple i would call it a medium too it's a little bit more aggressive you're going to get more uh, grip with it but it's not amazingly uh, i say amazingly it's not extreme so when you're concealed carrying this it's not going to rub against you and uh you know feel like sandpaper but it is going to give you a little more texture than what something like this would as far as like a normal dot stipple as far as the control goes the fact that you have those lines in there and they're different ways your skin kind of forms into it a lot better than it does with a dot pattern because you have a lot of these different sprinkles that are in a uh, vertical alignment. Well, they're in multiple alignments, which means that you have better control of the gun in my experience with uh, the sprinkle job. Sprinkle stipple job, say that five times fast. Because when you're holding the gun and you have the gun in your hand and everything's engulfed in it there, with the sprinkles being in all different alignments there, it really locks the gun into your hand uh, compared to um, you know just a regular stipple job and you know that's why he probably calls it a medium you can feel the difference compared to just a regular stipple job uh, sprinkles are for winners so what exactly do you do this one as you can see the outline this was a basic glock uh, nothing done to it whatever just a stock glock and he went ahead and did the trigger undercuts and why you want that is you get a higher purchase on the gun which means you have more control and then he uh, did the second undercut here with a little bit of uh, sprinkles down here that is for your support hand to come up in and get control of the gun and with the sprinkle pattern in there locks in even more you have up here just a uh, a thumb support thumb rest to push the gun down just slightly not push it down but give it good force so that it mitigates the recoil and you don't need it up and around the back strap here um, because if you're shooting all day, it's gonna tear up your webbing or your hand a little bit. You're gonna bump the camera like a professional. If you don't do that, you don't know how to make videos. And he also did around the magazine release, as you can see there, just outstanding work. But we're here to talk about the sprinkles. So all in all, I really love what he did. I basically threw this at him and said, do what you wanna do. The only stipulation I had was I wanted a thumb rest up here because I never had that before and I really felt as though that's something I want on a carry gun. And um, I stipulated that um, I wanted the sprinkles. Um, who doesn't want the sprinkles? After you get the sprinkles, you're gonna want all your guns to have the sprinkles in my opinion. But um, he put the sprinkles on here. He did all the outlining. This is just a stock Glock, like I said. He did his work. It really works well. I do like the sprinkle pattern. It is a more tactile feel compared to what um, the, uh, the regular stipple pattern is. So if you go over to his site, you've probably been over there. If you've watched my channel, I've done uh, videos in the past where I've talked about his work. I know people have gone over there. Um, you've probably seen the other one. So if you see this on his Instagram, which he's had a bunch of pictures of uh, the sprinkled pattern, um, hopefully this gives you a better idea of what that looks like up close as far as the way it feels and uh, give you my um, opinion of it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you have specific questions about the, uh, the stipple job and everything, direct them over to Chris over at Light Fighter Innovations. I'm really not gonna be able to answer those. Uh, if you guys have had work done before or if you have stipple jobs done, uh, go ahead and put that in the comments down below, how that's worked out for you and uh, you know what aggressiveness level you like. And until uh, next time, later.